Welcome back everyone to another round of Gourmet Breaks. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss anything, and uh, come and stop by sometime and join in on the fun. You may know we're uh, doing a series here on subscription boxes, mystery packs, and today actually a repack for the average guy. So when you're when you're not a uh, 100,000 subscriber YouTube channel and you order one of these things, it's kind of nice to be... Uh, able to know what you could expect to get. So today we're looking at a weird one. This is uh, all original Hunter trading cards, uh, 1985 tops. And you can find these things, uh, they're from Cardco. You can find these on eBay occasionally. I've kind of noticed there's generally one seller who usually has these. They're roughly 20 bucks, um, depending on who's bidding. They're almost always at auction. Uh, it's like $7 in shipping. And... Um, uh, he doesn't exactly get right on the ball when it comes to shipping stuff, but you do wind up getting your things. So uh, with all of that being said, you might be asking yourself the usual questions. Um, are these any good? Uh, what kind of condition are the cards in? Uh, Gore, why do you keep buying this crap? Um, and I'll tell you right now, I have a thing for the 1985 Topps Mark McGuire card. Um, it's a card that I like. Um, obviously, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I'm a big Mark McGuire fan. Um, and I just really, just absolutely have a thing for this uh, Team USA Baseball Mark McGuire card. But I've never uh, managed to actually get that card in a pack um, the old-fashioned way. I've just kind of... Did I say that I like this card and uh, Mark McGuire? I... I just really, every time that I see it, I just need to have it. Um, so anyway, maybe now you're starting to kind of kind of grasp where I'm going with this. I am a big Mark McGuire fan from, uh, from the 80s, and this card has always been kind of my grail card. So that's why I'm opening this, and I've opened several in the past. And uh, just to go back and explain, can you get anything good? I actually opened one of these in the 1984 Tops format, and I pulled this bad boy out of there. So uh, that bad Larry right there, the uh, Donnie Baseball 84 rookie, it is all sorts of nice and crispy, minty, fresh. Um, this card came out of one of these. So can you get good stuff out of these? Yes, you most definitely can. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into it right now and see if we can find the 1985 Tops. Mark McGuire Team USA Baseball card. Again, guys, we've been doing a bunch of these videos on repacks, mystery packs, subscription boxes. Please subscribe and uh, let me know down in the comments if there's ever anything, any subscription boxes or mystery packs that you may be seeing on another channel that just seemed too good to be true. And uh, maybe I can bite the bullet and try it out for us all saving us all a bunch of money i will post some links up in like one of these corners or something uh to some of the other videos that we've done and uh, you can watch and uh i don't know enjoy along with me all right guys i am i'm all sorts of nervous i'm, I'm oh oh man there there's a whole slew of uh team usa baseball cards in the 1985 set so I won't get too excited too quickly, but man, oh man, uh, talk about childhood dream come true. Uh, I'll also tell you this, and I, I, I kind of use a little little psyops here when I ordered this one. There are other ones that had better players on the front, and I kind of felt like, yeah, you start off with the really good players on the front, you're probably just going to get, you know, average packs. So this was probably the quote-unquote worst uh, facing cards that I could have chosen, but uh, there's a method to the madness. All right, let's get after it. Tom Seaver. Now, I wouldn't mind getting uh, the Eric Davis 85 rookie or Roger Clemens um, or Dwight Gooden. So it's not just about the Mark McGuire card. You guys can see right now the cards are all in really good shape. So no complaints there. I know that's always a concern, especially with 85 tops already and then you you throw them in a, in a repack are they going to get all bounced around how long have they been in there there's ken phelps okay let's see who else we got here decent looking cards at this point i need to start working on a set although mid 80 dave stewart so oakland a's fan for me little little stew action on the rangers you'll find some cool stuff in there there's the goose 
So not just uh, not just commons by any means. There's probably I don't know 750 cars. Little Jeff Reardon. Look at the choke up on Danny Gladden there. Uh, Ron Darling I like watching him on MLB Network. Anyway, Pete Rose manager card. Condition is good. Lots of cards in this set, so obviously it is going to be tough going to find the Mark McGuire, but I I have faith. One of these times, I, I've got to get lucky, right? I used to do a video series called uh, Hump Day Hunt and uh, looking for cards like this, other big-name cards, big-time cards from my childhood. Let's see. Oh, man, if I could remember the other names of the Team USA guys, I would guess them right now. I don't know is it oh man even the even the hat was like right in that spot billy swift there's our first one we uh we're gonna we're gonna be on the edge of our seats here you know, freddie lynn Dwayne murphy there's i don't know julio franco i think he played baseball till he was in his 80s joe price he had a sweet batting stance though back in the day if you guys remember that all the kids used to try to imitate it we got a father and son card of uh, Roy Smalley. Jim Rice again. Uh, Carlton Fisk. Not just Commons. But man, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Anything short of that Mark McGuire, I will be disappointed. But, you know, that that is the way it goes, right? Jim Wynn. Lynn Cicada. Let's see. Mike Armstrong. Man, the glasses game really has improved, hasn't it? Bill Allman. Rich Gale. Thought that could have been the Roger Clements card. Okay. Terry Kennedy. See Sid Fernand. Oh, sweet checklist. Thank you for including that. Wally Backman. Oh, the Tony Gwynn. Look how nice that Tony Gwynn looks too. Tony Gwynn out of the repack. That is a that is a pretty clean looking card. Okay, Rick Roden. Palmer. We're getting down to the wire here, guys. Am I slow rolling it? Yep, I definitely am. Oh man. Well, that is a bad omen for me. I am not a Kirk Gibson fan. Kirk Gibson uh, dashed my childhood dreams of watching the A's win the World Series when I was just a boy. Hater of happiness, Kirk Gibson. Oh, I, I think that's it. I think that killed it for me. The Dennis Eckersley. Well, that's... I'll just put them by, side by side. Uh, that's about as good as you can get there. Phillips. Glenn Wilson, almost at the end here. Mike Peglala Harlu, uh, Thornton, Jason Thompson, and Danny Cox. And well, we didn't get it. Of course, fans of the channel will know Dennis Eckersley and Kirk Gibson. Had both of these dudes just stayed on these teams, uh, I wouldn't have the the heartbreak and feelings that I have for them now. But uh, they were destined to meet again. Mark McGuire, I've got enough of them to uh, to comfort myself after losing them here. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. These 1984-1985 blister packs are pretty good. They do have good cards in them. As you can see, they don't have just commons. They have got an assortment of stars and Hall of Famers. Uh, only today they did not have my Mark McGuire. With that being said, guys, again, if you like the channel, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Check us out on Patreon. Check out our auctions. Check out Packs with Friends. We've got all kinds of fun stuff and a great community of guys to stop and hang out with. Until next time, take care, and we will see you soon.